All right, so I got the um, Atom module and I've changed its IP address. I'm using this Modbus client program. Um, let's see if we can see that a little bit better. And we're going to start reading 300. Uh, we're going to start writing 300, but that doesn't mean anything because we're never actually going to write anything to it right now. But this register is going to the, the very top register. Hang on a minute, I'm making a video. Um, the very top register is going to be 300. And what that maps to is the digital inputs 0 through 7. And basically all I'm doing is I'm using a piece of wire to short any of the inputs to ground. Now inside of this module there's a jumper and you'd have to switch that jumper to the wet contact position but by default it's inside it's set to the dry contact position and so any um, any of these that I contact that I actually touch so they're they're now shorted to ground for instance um, let's go with the first one here so input number digital input 0 is bit 0 and that's a 1 so I take it away put it back take it away so let's go to the next one let's see it's a 2 and we got 4 8 I'm just I'm just going up the, the contacts this is this is that contact 5 contact digital input number 6 and then the last one digital input number 7 so basically each bit in that register represents one of the uh, one of the inputs that I'm that I'm just touching. So I'm just going like this as I went. What you just saw was me going through all of these, and the register's changing. And that was the settings that I used. Um, interestingly, I'm always sending this heartbeat. So, for instance, if I wanted to map that heartbeat to our outputs, I'd change the write address to 302 and I'd reinitialize it. And then that heartbeat is basically the low byte of that heartbeat is just going into 302. And so you'll see it like that's 302. So what are the outputs doing right now on this thing? They're just cycling through all the possible connections. You know, it's like binary counting up. Um, anyway. Yeah, you probably don't want to do that, and you're probably not using this Modbus client, but you might be using, behind the scenes, the unofficial NI Modbus library. So my reads, my read is basically just um, I'm reconnect. I'm I'm setting up the connection, uh, passing that connection over to read registers, and then passing it into some um, some uh, functional global variables. And I'm saying, hey, after I read, let's write the heartbeat out. Um, and if a command is to write, we're going to basically do something similar. We're taking the registers out of the functional global variable and writing them as they've been configured previously. So this is, this is a um, NI Modbus, uh, Modbus library set of tools. It's an unofficial set, but it, it works. It's what I've been using for years. I uh, found it on their website.